Hello everyone and welcome to a let's play of Marie's Room. This is a free-to-play game that was released very recently and from what I gathered it's a walking simulator. But hey, I like those. They're interesting sometimes. So let's play it. I didn't want to come back. Why would I? After all that's happened, even in here. So, where is the journal? Damn, you sound pissy. Um, I'm not sure exactly what this game is about. I didn't quite read, but shut the fuck up, phone. Um, but yeah, let's. I don't want to go back down. Well, I'm sorry. I thought you didn't want to explore the thingy, so I thought, okay, let's go back. But apparently, you don't want anything. Why do you keep complaining then? Okay. I guess this is about like one called Kelsey and one called Marie. And we're gonna discover what happened between between them. California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Hmm. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? Which one of them? Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Huh. Wish I was there with them. Okay. That's... Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Okay, you have everything memorized. I'm glad for you. I don't, so... I'm sorry. Okay, that looks like a bedroom. What, more than a hundred again today? Glad I don't have to deal with that anymore. No, that's her parents' room. Okay. So we already have only this room to go to. The choice has already been made for us. Is that a light switch? Guess they think it's bright enough. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You were my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Okay, what happened? Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun. The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit. Before really? I met Trevor. Okay, we don't know the password. But it wouldn't surprise me if it's Bumblebee. Guess we'll see. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Okay, so what exactly happened? I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Hmm. So it's not really a walking simulator in that regard. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. I loved skinny dipping, <laughs> but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. The hell? And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. Okay. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. 
Something happened to Marie, I'm not sure what. Did she get killed? The mystery thickens. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Trevor, what an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Hmm. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. Mm, yeah. Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. What happened? I'm so confused. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case. Oh, I'm sorry. But I guess um, I, w I won't go back and re like listen to that. I guess her mom was a drunk, and she, this girl Kelsey was abused, so she went to her best friend a lot, and the best friend's dad took her in. There's no such thing as food waste, and don't I know it? The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever, and the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Hmm. So I'm guessing she's been homeless at least once. She asked me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. Hmm. Consider it, I guess. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? Mm, yeah. At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Is it drugs? Or something like that? Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house not long after we met at Food Rescue. He was stabbed, almost died. Really? She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while, stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. The hell? No, that's severe. Huh. I mean, I kind of get some of it, but not fully. Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Rip. At least my parents didn't abuse me when I was a kid. Always something, I guess. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Oh, so... That's how they met. They met at the food rescue. Where Marie was volunteer volunteering, I guess. Oh, interesting, interesting. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. The hell? 
I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Did Marie die, or did her parents get killed, or like what happened? Mr. Torres, thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Hmm. Hated that thing. Me too. Have you ever sold a Rubik's Cube? I haven't. 5622. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. That's the code, I guess, to the thingy. Alright, we should check that. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For pizza! Her pizza and movie party. Oh, I feel the All resentment. Right, yeah. No! I skipped! That's Marie's birthday. No! That's weird. I'm sorry. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Alright, I might have been a little jealous. I will. I feel like a lot. String of burglars in Orange Grove. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah. I've seen him. Trevor, I guess. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend. Free burgers from the kitchen he worked in. Sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took <sighs> care of him, he'd take care of me. And we'd get out, just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Oh, he's breaking in. Oh, so Trevor was the one who broke in everywhere. And yeah. Well, that's kinda kinda. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything. Though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Yeah, so Trevor basically broke in here, stabbed Mr. Torres, beat Marie with the baseball bat. Is that why they're pissed off at each other? Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse mm. than being hungry. I can kind of imagine. Wait, what was the code? 5622. 56. Is that in order? Yeah, 56223, I guess. 56223. I need to find the key. 5. 5 figure number. 562. Two. Long combination. Really? I really want to know what's in that case. I'm missing something and I don't know why. Or what. Because, I mean, these, this is definitely a combination. Cat? She must have written it down here somewhere. Yeah. Where has she written it down? I mean, I haven't checked the journal. Maybe that's why. I think let's not read it. Like you pause and read, and that will be great. Okay. Fearless. Oh, notebook. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting twenty bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then. He oh. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, keeps, um, you know. Oh, this is the code, I think. Is that enough for us to guess it, you think? I would prefer to have something more to guess the combination, but I guess if nothing else, you'll have to do. I'm not a I'm shadow. Not a shadow person. Yeah. It took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Okay, so that's the code. Well, that wasn't so hard. Aww, that's adorable. What the hell? Day, I just had to know. What's up with all the cats? She said she admired them. That they were who they were without any pretense. That they had no fear of confrontation. 
She wanted to be more like them. Mm, yeah. It's cute though. When Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Yeah, that was actually my first thought. Marie, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Okay, who died? Marie? Well, yeah, because that's so great inviting like a bully and potentially dangerous person into office so they can talk to each other. Oh no. Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. No, we shouldn't. Five. So, three, four, nine, five. Did you kill him? Did Marie kill Trevor? I need to find the key. Chush, I have five figure number. Three, four, nine, five. Yay! Oh wait, really? Good work, Kelsey. Really? Oh, oh my god. That was really true in my reaction too. The past. Like the future is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. Did you throw she a rock? stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. Wait, really? How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything. And he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. The fuck? He kicked her in the head. Did Marie I die? For the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped. Because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock. Realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me added with a smile and her that's when it all went to pieces trevor ripped us apart and he was enjoying it marie didn't understand i tried to explain apologized but she wasn't listening what she kept asking me if i'd been there with trevor in their house trevor stirred things up even more he told her it was me who had hit really? her over the head with a baseball bat that i'd enjoyed it i screamed in frustration no that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. 
I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house, and we got caught by Mr. Torres, but I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and- Who died? Never been so invested ever. What do you think you remember is not what necessarily happened? Who died? what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet. Oh, good. Dead. That we all remember. Good. At least one douchebag is out of the way. I'll assume this is not everything. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Of course I knew it was her. Who else? There was only one thing to do. Get to Marie. That's interesting. I thought... I thought they wouldn't... She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? I drove all the way up there to Vancouver. Kills this losing country. my ass off in that tin can of a car. I mean, I'm not gonna read everything, but, as I promised, here are the pages. Feel free to stop and read them. It's very interesting. Um, but yeah. Feel free to read them. I was a Kelsey threw a rock through my window. <laughs> So that's all of the journal pages. I hope you paused and read them, because I'm assuming this is the end. Very short, but it's a free-to-play game or walking simulator. I really enjoyed it, actually. Because I think it's very much... It's a... It's a very interactive experience, and we... Like, we found out what happened as we went along. And I really do like that, because it makes for a more interactive gameplay, as I said. Yeah, like, I really like these. Like, I like walking simulators in general, even if they're weird as hell. The voice acting was really good, in my opinion. Um, you could feel, like, almost the jealousness and distaste in her voice. Kelsey's, I mean, I really like that one. Um, I really liked how it sounded, basically. Like, you could tell... It was good voice acting, so that I enjoyed it a lot. I also liked that you kind of figured out the pieces as we went along. I'm not fully sure if I got all of the um, code, like all of the code, and maybe I missed that last number somewhere, or maybe you were intended to just guess, I'm not sure. But anyway guys, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download it, and 
I'll see you in the next video of whatever it is I make. Bye bye.